Hi, well, welcome to video blog number seven, A Success Guaranteed. My name is John Hine and it's good to meet you again, or if it's your first time here, hi, you are most welcome. And in this episode, we're going to talk about in pursuit of happiness. Ultimately, everything we do is a drive to be happy. So we may seek to have a beautiful fast car, like a Ferrari or Lamborghini or a, a big house by the sea, somewhere exotic and a fantastic relationship with someone and all the trappings that go with, with success. But success without happiness is pretty hollow. And a lot of my clients have found this out, that you know, when you pursue success thinking, I'll make lots and lots of money, I'll have a big, big corporation, and then you don't link it to actually being happy, it ends up being quite hollow, quite empty. And then people have to go and find meaning in what they've already got, which usually means a change in direction. So everything we do is based around the idea of making us happy. So the idea of the Ferrari doesn't make us happy in itself. It's what you think it's going to give you. And the relationship and the beautiful house and, and, the, and the fantastic job is what's going to make you happy. But before you come, become happy, you already have to be happy. Happy with what you've got. And the reason is that if you're not happy already, you're consciously telling your unconscious, I am unhappy. And as we've spoken about before, the, un the unconscious will give you back what you actually asked for. So if your mind dwells on unhappiness, on being frustrated, you keep on feeding all that information to the unconscious and the unconscious keeps feeding all that information back and creating basically an unhappy life. And there's so much you can be happy for. Okay, it's a dream that, you, that all these wonderful things, all these toys are going to make you happy. But it not, it's not necessarily true. So if you can actually just be happy now with what you've got, enjoying what you've got, and being content with what you've got, but liking some more to add on top of it, you're more likely to get it. Whereas if you're constantly frustrated and angry and constantly feeling stuck, that's where you tend to stay unless something changes. And this reminds me of um, the last time I was in my favourite pancake bar on having brunch on a Sunday morning, which is my favourite thing to do. It's really laid back. It was a very warm, lovely day. It's very mellow. Car park was absolutely packed when I got there. Didn't expect that. And there were lots of people who had been out for runs, and been to the gym, and been out playing with the kids, or been to church. And everybody was in a very mellow mood. And there was a little kid almost opposite me, and he must have been about one. I think it was a boy. And he was having a whale of a time. He, his mum and pop put him in a high chair, and he seemed to be very, very skillful at manoeuvring into the high chair. Obviously very used to going to the pancake house on a Sunday morning. And he was busily smearing his breakfast all over his face and laughing and having a really good time. And his mum and pop were having a, uh, a, a great time watching him and looking after his two elder brother and sister who were playing the games that kids normally do. And there were guys there who had obviously going to have had something playing, uh, planned for the afternoon, going to a game, going training, whatever and young ladies there sitting chatting and telling each other secrets and and uh, talking about the week and it was a really great atmosphere I, I felt really good and everybody else felt really good everybody fitted in nicely together and it occurred to me that everybody was happy they were just happy doing really simple things meeting their friends playing with the kids um, and just enjoying breakfast, sorry, brunch, just enjoying brunch. And that's the sort of basis you have to start your, your road on the way to success of whatever you're pursuing. 
is being happy with what you've already got. It's it's not even law of attraction. It's much more straightforward than that. It's if you're angry and you're frustrated and you feel stuck and you feel held back and you feel like you're not being appreciated, you are going to get in your own way. Sure, the law of attraction will, will, will actually jump in and, and tend to replicate what you've already got. But it's much more straightforward. So if you're content with what you have, whether you, where you'd like to have more, where you would be really good to have more, to have the nice car, to have the fantastic relationship, to have the beautiful house, to have the fantastic job, and be working towards them. But first you need to be content with what you have. So it's, are you content that when you wake up in the morning, it's a beautiful day that you can see, you can feel, you can smell, you're still alive and there's all the potential what a fantastic day could turn out to be. And you hear the birds singing and feel the warmth on your skin or if you live somewhere cold, you feel the, the cold chill on your face and it makes you feel good and you're looking forward to the day or you've just finished the day and you've enjoyed meeting people and having their company and enjoying the, the warm evening air. These are all things that are really, really good for you, which make your mind content and make you wide open to get even more. It sounds very strange that you have to be content before you can become really content. So think on that. Think of all the things that you feel grateful for. Think about them every day. Say them out loud every day. Why do you feel grateful for being alive? Why do you feel grateful for seeing the sunrise? Why do you feel grateful for seeing the sunset? Seeing a, your puppy running around, your cat hugging you, your best friend chatting to you, the, the people you love surrounding you. Once you become content with this, that's the basis on which you can launch your future. Because if, you're, if you stay frustrated, constantly wishing, constantly visualizing, constantly saying affirmations for something that you haven't got, you're actually telling your unconscious, this is what I need to be replicated. Because the unconscious is not consciously aware that you don't want it. Because if you dwell on this all the time, then that's what the unconscious will keep replicating in your life. So think about it this week. Be grateful every day for what you've got. Feel content with what you've got. And just say, I'd like some more, and this is what I'd like. And go for it. You have a really great week. See you. Bye.